just feels like it never ends. Proper long bit of welding. So many edges, but um, yeah, I'm on the final stretch. Just gonna get it done. Let's do this. This is by far the biggest amount of welding I've, I've ever had to do in my entire life. Just so much. But it's alright, it's coming out good. What I wanted to show you is considering how weird it looks. Um, on the outside here, everything is all lumpy and weird. And But I will address it, I will clean it up, I will grind it down and it will look, it will look good by the time I'm finished. But what I wanted to document is the penetration so it's all weird on this side but on this side like the pen you can see the penetration is doing really really well there's a couple of funky bits here that i think i'm just gonna um I just hit from this side a couple of times but like in there you can see all the penetrations really nice especially this bit i'm really impressed with this all of this penetration here that's coming from from this weld where it's a 90 degree type of butt weld and you can see and you can see how how nicely that's all fused together so now i'm going to use that technique of drilling the little holes and grinding a groove along along this edge here and along this edge here and then that's um, and then that's pretty much everything welded up yeah let's smash this out issue but I managed to resolve it um, so I tried the same technique here with um, drilling little holes that line up with this piece here uh, and to start with I wasn't getting a strong enough weld on these bits onto the onto the other panel and because um, because of the heat and and how things like move when when they welded the welds were like popping themselves off but I've resolved that instead of making a little slit over the hole I ended up just drilling it out a little bit bigger on this side and then he ended up working out really well um, I've got like a really strong weld that's definitely definitely melted this metal on this side and as you can see these are all the bits of it that come through to the other side and, and really fused this panel to this panel and it's like, like I keep saying, I don't know if this method is is the correct fit way to do it, but it seems mega strong and it's fine. Um, so I think that's fine for me. But yeah, I just need to um, do this same thing along here because there's a there's an edge. There's obviously this that needs to be welded to this, and then yeah, but it's like it feels like a tank already. Just to demonstrate. A little bit closer of what I'm doing it really just works in my head and it seems like it's working in Any practice ideas? so I'm just some good little it works it works in this particular situation so this is what I'm saying I drill little holes and then I line up the panel I make sure my holes are lined up and then wherever wherever needs be I make sure they align um, so it's this, so it's this panel that's going to get welded to this and then I enlarge I enlarge the holes on the outside a little bit but the panel that's behind is lined up with the holes and um, and then when I weld I like shoot the wire directly into that panel there so then it melts into that and then the weld builds up and then melts into this and then the whole thing just becomes one that's what I'm doing and I'm, I'm sure this is like, I'm sure this thing is gonna turn out like 50 times stronger than the factory. Any in ideas? factory, they've got these silly spot welds that just hold in panels together. But this has literally become one and the amount of weld that's here, it's like, it's like a tank now. Oh, 
Oh, this isn't even funny. The brush, the welds on the inside, so I can just put some epoxy on them and have to do some madness. Oh, this is the worst. I can't see. Ow, everything hurts. Ow. Ah, how do people do this? How do people get cavities but protected? Any ideas? Oh, I just had to do some of the most struggling boy stuff of honestly so brushing inside of there was bad enough but trying to paint inside of there was like new level of struggly unbelievable that was literally the least fun thing I've ever had to do in my entire life okay so as you can see inside of there all the weldy bits and all the edges and everything is all epoxy primed this side is temporary i just put a little bit literally a little bit of epoxy on the wall so i can leave it for a couple of days all of this is all sealed off the thing that was probably the worst was trying to get in there and there is no access there is no access to the back of these welds i was doing some proper dumb stuff I was filling up this little straw with paint, putting it in the crevices that I knew that would like drip down the back and then cover the welds, and then like filling it up with paint, shoving it in the crev, and then blowing it with the air gun, and oh Jesus, I've got paint like everywhere. I have no words, honestly. That was the dumbest thing in the world. So have a good look at this mess, and I am gonna sort that out. And what the hell is going on? Like, uh, we're jumping around in time because I get sidetracked and I start doing other stuff. And from the last time, from where I just made this super special effect cut, uh, I was going to do all the sculpting of the welds. I was gonna smooth all this off, smooth everything down, but I have done some stuff off camera, whatever. I've got the back end on this little scenario. I've built up this little situation that the rear end lives on now. I've stripped this in preparation for dealing with all of this area. Um, took the brakes, the hubs, all of that stuff off. Things are moving along though. That's the main thing. Before I smooth off all of my welds and stuff, I started just scratching my head trying to work out how I'm gonna make this strengthening piece here. I am ended up doing this which is just loads of masking tape that I just taped to where I think it's gonna need to go I think I'm gonna do something like this the original piece went something like this right so that's the original piece so I'm kind of going with the same thing I did think about extending it but I just I'm just gonna try it I'm gonna try it this way first um, this is all just prototyping yeah, stage, trying to work out what I need to do. But yeah, it's just another weird thing. I'm just trying to wrap my head around what I want to do, and I can already tell it's going to be a bit of a difficult thing to shape. The annoying thing is that I'm going to have to, when I weld this onto this, I'm going to have to deal with sealing the welds because obviously the heat from the welds is going to mess up all the paint on the other side and I'm going to have to brush it off again and paint it again blah 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 but um, yeah I'm just going to keep playing with it and then we'll see we'll see where I get to um, yeah I don't know just something something yeah would you look at that that's not even um, that's not even anywhere near finished just ground it down just a little bit just and now it's in, in like in one color and a little bit ground down i'm still gonna go like clean up a lot more especially in the areas where i'm welding stuff yes. onto um but yeah sweet looking all right it's still like, i'm so impressed with like how strong it is can, like move the whole car by this bit it's nice um yeah, I'm trying to work out what the hell to do. I've been playing around with this. I feel like this is the rough shape that I'm gonna try and do. 
and I've laid out here and I'm going to try and cut it out and I literally have no idea what I'm doing at this point I don't even know how I'm gonna I just don't even know but I'm just gonna try it because I've been staring at it for ages and just playing around with stuff and I'm just gonna start doing stuff see what works and what doesn't and that's it but yeah I'll um I'm gonna cut this out and then start bending it into a shape that I think it needs to be and then see how it goes. Um, if it doesn't work, I'll let you know. Or if it works, I'll let you know. Mm -hmm.